Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Star Lords, and today we're going to be discussing the new achievements from the upcoming DLC vault -Tec Workshop. As you know, vault -Tec Workshop is the next DLC to come out for Fallout 4, which is just an expansion in the building settlement mode, which a lot of people seem to enjoy, you know? And so far, we've actually had, you know, the Contraptions DLC and the Wasteland Workshop DLC. This, of course, the vault -Tec DLC is going to be the very last of the building kind until Nuka World comes out. And as always, before the DLC is actually released, the achievements are actually put onto certain type of websites, and we have them here to actually view. Okay, so like the previous Workshop DLCs, we have three new achievements that we can unlock on both our Xbox, PlayStation, and PC consoles. And to be honest, looking at the description on how to actually unlock these, they look fairly easy, but nevertheless, pretty fun. So let's look at the first achievement. Starting off with the easiest achievement of this DLC, which I think everybody will 100% get if they get this DLC, is the Oversight Achievement, which will actually have us become the Overseer of Vault 88. Of course, you all probably know by now, we not only get to build our own vault, but we get to be the Overseer, which entails us actually doing social experiments on the people living in that vault, which is a really good twist. Honestly, when I was thinking they should do a Vault DLC, I did not even think about becoming the Overseer. I did not think about the social experiments that, you know, vault -Tec previously did before the war or just after the war even. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to see uh, what happens, you know, how you actually, you know, come about being the Overseer, who you have to talk to and whatnot. And yeah, I should probably say that I am aware that Bethesda actually live streamed, you know, this, this DLC. Unfortunately, I was on holiday, so I don't know what they showed off. I don't know anything about this other than, you know, it's Vault 88, we become the Overseer, and we can do experiments. So, yeah. Okay, moving on to the second achievement of this DLC, which is called Better Living Underground. And as you can see there from the description, it says, Unlock all build areas of Vault 88. Now, I remember watching the... Vault Tech Workshop DLC trailer at E3 at the live, you know, conference kind of thing. And I do recall that you are actually, in fact, underground. You know, I wouldn't expect it not to be. Um, but, you know, when they were actually going through the vault, you could see that we could take away some limestone, you know, from the from the actual wall. Now, when he actually, you know, removed that, it was a big open area with a rad scorpion. And, you know, that is just one of the many possibilities of this DLC. We're going to be able to explore a heck of a lot. And if I do recall, there was actually trains down there. So what I can actually say is it's probably going to be in an abandoned train station. I Like I said, I haven't seen the reveal of, you know, the live stream of the DLC, so I don't actually know, but correct me if I'm wrong, it definitely is in a abandoned train station, which means, you know, there's going to be a lot of tunnels, there's going to be a lot of block paths, and, you know, it'll be pretty good to actually explore all of this area, so I definitely cannot wait to see what actually, you know, is in that vault. Yeah, pretty cool, guys, I am very stoked about that. And our last and final DLC achievement of vault -Tec Workshop is one called Vault Dweller. And the description actually says, Equip a Vault 88 suit and Pip-Boy on a Settler. Honestly, it's just pretty much self-explanatory. But one thing about this is, holy crap, I did not actually think they would actually implement placing Pip-Boys on Settlers. I know a lot of people actually requested this when the game first came out. They were like, why can't we actually put pit boys on our settlers you know where, where are the other pit boys in the world as you only actually see one or two in this game but anyhow guys that has pretty much been it for this video i do hope that you enjoyed the information i brought to you today if you did then please leave a like and yeah that's been it for me a lot of fallout stuff coming soon and until next time i've been star lord ah uh, see ya